Today we're going to do a video for the Prepper Project fans on interior lighting. And there's a picture of a uh, light that you'll probably recognize off eBay. That's a 12 or 24 volt. Uh, they call it, uh, it's usually listed for 4x4s, four off-road, that kind of thing. And they say spot and uh, flood. Now, there's two uh, versions of this. The flood, I think, has a 60 degree uh, angle coming out, and the spot is only 30 degrees, which is very focused light. Now, that thing is, uh, what you're looking at there is a 27 watt, so it's 12 or 24, and it's generally put on uh, four by four vehicles. Now, <clears throat> the thing is, I haven't been able to find much, and here I'll bump down to this other one haven't been able to find much in the way of interior lighting Zoom in there. so you can see the circuit board that's what it looks like inside interior lighting for off-grid <clears throat> for people that have a 48 volt battery bank for example what do you do on the inside uh, to cut your power consumption and still get good light uh, the big thing is you need a uh, oh preferably about 160 to 180 degree uh, angle coming off this uh, beam, coming off these lights. And most of the LEDs are focused and they don't have a, a wide spread like that. So they're not very good as an overhead light or they call that a down light. Uh, that's the terminology they generally use. But uh, they don't really have anything that I can find. I've uh, spent a few weeks just looking through I mean, there's just hundreds of thousands of LED lights on eBay. You can spend a lot of time, but I've looked uh, through everything there. There's a lot of 12 volts, and there's a lot of uh, things that run off 110 volts. But you can't find hardly uh, anything that really runs off of 24 volts, which could be hooked up to a battery bank, for example. If you've got a 48 volt battery bank, and eventually we're going to look into the wiring and stuff that I've got and how I've done it. But uh, so you run a 48 volt into some converters and then convert to uh, 12 volts, 24 volts, that kind of thing. Uh, I've got a freezer that runs on 12 or 24 volts and it saves a lot in power consumption and that's the thing. These little lights uh, only pull about a half of an amp and you get 27 watts out of them. And if you ever hook one of these up and see how good they are, they, they, LEDs project a lot of light. But inside, without a good spread on them, uh, they're not very good because they're just too focused so what I'm trying to do here is to open it up and see how it looks uh, on my beam coming down how good it spreads and actually I uh, not quite done here what you're looking at uh, and here I'll show you the, the piece that broke off I'm toss it in the trash here <clears throat> I think you'll be able to see this just fine this is the cover which I broke off of this thing. It's very, very durable. It just fits down in here. It slides, it's glued in. You can kind of see right there where some of it's still, still there. It just fits in this little groove here and it goes down inside here uh, where you can't really get at it and get it out of there. So basically I had to pry off the side, this uh, edge here, broke it off. And then I could get up under it with a screwdriver and pry that up. And then I basically clawed it, clawed it off and rolled it off and tore it off of there. And I think uh, uh, three of these don't work now. So I must, uh, I can see I damaged one of them slightly. So I guess it's, uh, I guess some of these are wired in series. They're probably series parallel, three. Yeah, I don't know. So at any rate, lost three lights. But even at that, <clears throat> they put out, uh, I just, was playing with this. This is just a, uh, as you can see, just a positive negative. I just hook it up to 24 volts, or you can hook it to 12. And I held it up uh, near my ceiling, plugged it in, and that was really good. It had a really wide spread on the beam. I'm not sure exactly what. So what I'm going to do is mount one up, get it, uh, put a switch on it, get it overhead, and then uh, we'll do a, a video of what it actually looks like in the room. The good thing about the LEDs is a really good reading light, much better than fluorescence and other types of light. You can actually see there's a, uh, there, 
website is there. And I've gone to that website and kind of tried to look over what they have, but like I said, I don't see much in the way of down lights, 24 volts or 12 volt down lights is what they call them. We call them a ceiling, ceiling light, but uh, just don't see it. So I don't know what people do for, uh, if you want something that really puts out good light, you want at least uh, 27 watts. And the other good thing about these is they're dimmable. So I bought a little dimmer which it says uh, will work on this and uh, so I'm going to hook that up with the dimmer on it and it's actually got a little remote control on the dimmer so I'm going to, uh, I don't know, maybe have a remote control light for inside my shop here. Here I'll show you the back of it. There's the mounting and they come with a little bracket. That's what the back of it looks like so you get some cooling fins. So what it really needs is something without edges uh, where you could mount it up to like a two gang box or whatever you would normally hook a uh, overhead light to where it could mount up and uh, then you wire it and then you can have it on a dimmer supposedly and all that and now you've got a good light in your room and these are only twenty dollars so when you compare the price of this to other ones and there's a forty eight uh, I've got, actually got a couple 48s out here, 48 watts. They uh, put out really good light. Uh, here again, they're pretty focused. No point in me uh, shining the camera over there because it just blind the camera anyway. It's just a little bit bigger than this. It's got a, uh, more, uh, I think these are all three watts. It's got more LEDs on here, so it's got a few more in here. Lights, uh, about the same size, but it's a little thicker. Got better cooling fins on it. so really not made for uh, mounting up to uh, a ceiling but we're going to uh, play with it and make it happen here's the little uh, mounting bracket and so forth that comes with it I guess you can, there you go at any rate so that's what we're going to look at today that's what the inside basically it's just uh, glued to the back there it's just a thin little metal uh, piece that's glued to the back it's got, you can almost see it right there. It's got a white, uh, kind of a white glue sticking through. You can see a little bit right there as well. So they just put that on there, glue it in place. Two wires coming through the case, that's it. And then you've got your uh, circuit board that controls the uh, amperage draw because if you don't do that, uh, if you were to try to just hook up LEDs, that you'd overpower them and they just burn up. So this little control board here keeps them from drawing too much amperage, that kind of thing. So I figured people would like to know what the inside of one of these look like and the only way you can do it is to break it, unfortunately. Uh, if you did a little bit better job, you wouldn't uh, mess up the LEDs like I did, but uh, imagine it doesn't take much because I just basically nicked one and now I've got a few that don't work. So I'll do another video. We'll try to get on camera what uh, you know how good it really looks and if it uh, looks as good as I think it will when I get it mounted then I'll probably uh, I don't know I guess I'll buy some more of these and just uh, maybe use a, some type of saw on them and just cut the edges out try to get it apart without damaging it too much and then come up with some kind of a nice mounting arrangement yeah the original brackets uh, could be used and I'm sure I'll use it on this one for when I first uh, do it and we'll look at it and see what it looks like so that's for today and uh, we'll come back and do a lot more on wiring wiring 24 volt uh, lights inside outside and so forth so thank you